What tier are you playing? Oh, I, I'm I'm uh, playing the hood now. It's the tier seven. I'm just you know doing that that uh, just for the Bismarck. Uh, I don't know what it's called a quest or whatever. Campaign. Campaign. Yeah. Okay. How far into it are? You? I'm at uh, I'm at four, but there's a catch in here. Um, they they want one of the one of the um, tasks is to uh, use a aircraft carrier. Every task in the mission to get past it, right? Really? You just need to get just enough to unlock the final, and then you can play the final and get past it. I I okay. I've played the final. I've already played like eight stars or six stars or something, whatever it is. And uh. What are these tor um, so what do I do? I, 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 do I just play like play number eight twice or something or three times or? If you have to, you can replay one of the tasks multiple times if you have to, just to get. Just don't collect it, right? Just don't. Collect it. Well, you'll ha what'll happen is you'll get the pins to allow you get to the final task, but you will not get the rewards a second time. Right. Okay. So, do I just, uh, what do I do? Do I just keep playing then for a while? Uh, yeah. play, play it by ear, huh? Well, I've still got the one task. The flooding task isn't going so well. I haven't really done much on that. This guy is going to make a torpedo pass on me. I know he is, so I'm going to... Try to hot foot it. So how's your weekend been going for as far as game? I got some uh, gun noise here. Okay. I just exploded, so I guess I can... Uh, Bring the screen here. Okay, I can hear you now. What was that? So how's your weekend been going in World of War? Oh yeah, uh, actually, I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with the uh, you know with the hood. Looking for the uh, you know this quest thing. Uh, all kinds of I got all kinds of signals and 770 uh, seven percent. Uh, Experience and captains. <laughs> yeah, I've been blowing those flags over the week. Yeah, oh no, but there's plenty of them. Yeah. Yeah, because I've been, I've actually managed to get four different tier tens this week. Tier ten what? Ships? Tier ten ship. How'd you how'd you do that? Just... Played a whole bunch of games with all those flags enabled. If I won, I typically would get like 12,000 regular experience and about wow. 10,000 free experience. Yeah, you're racking up the points. You're good. You must be pretty good. Yeah, so I basically ended up on a win. Like I said, I'd be able to get about 200,000 XP in a single day. Oh, okay. By just playing a hell of a lot. Yeah, yeah, you got to grind. Going into the match for the first time with the core first. I haven't played her. Sure, you're playing now. Uh, the core first is ten. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't have any tens yet. I'm uh, working on the. I've got the. Um, is a Zumo or whatever? I got to get tier nine of these. And I got I I, I ground and uh, paid a little bit at the end there for the Missouri. That was a long haul. So I got yeah. one nine. I got one nine. So you know, otherwise I'm pretty much eight and below. Yeah, I actually now have twelve tier tens. 
Wow. <laughs> You've been at this a while. Yeah. Kind of, kind of a newcomer by, by you know, by Task Force 16 standards. I'm just, you know, I'm just learning more and more. You know, it's, I spend a lot of time. Uh, I, I yesterday I was kind of, kind of wigging out, bummed out a little bit because um, I needed two destroyer wins. Uh, lead, I think it was one of the one of the uh, level three uh, tasks, and uh, I, I got. I got three in a row, but only one registered. Then I started losing. I didn't get any credit, so I started losing uh, playing the Atlanta. I you know, got the one win with the Atlanta, and I got two more wins with the Atlanta. But, but I only got credit for the one win, so it kept coming up like I had to keep playing. So this, this, uh, this earlier today, this afternoon, I... Uh, I looked into the. Said, I'm going to play another cruiser. I'm not, I'm not going back to the Atlanta. Something wrong. So I looked into the Omaha and I read up on it and kind of, you know, got the modules straightened out. It's actually kind of a fun ship to play. And I did pretty well with it. And uh, the first victory, first game was a victory and it registered so that I got, so I completed that task in, in third level three or whatever it is but I was kind of bummed out last night but I, I, I breathed a sigh of relief when uh, when it registered this week. yeah I could I, but I was worried about that stupid uh, aircraft carrier thing that they threw I'll just keep playing. But I haven't completed the first task. Uh, the first task in four is uh, to, uh, I guess, you gotta get five, five floods. Yes. I don't think I've got one. I've got all kinds of citadels and played all kinds of games with damage, but I don't see any flooding happening. Taken out kind of early, but out. I'm watching a turbo just get destroyed. <laughs> well, he kind of wanted out broadside in front of a Yamato, a Corfirst, and a turbo. But he's, he's in between three ships. No, he's broadside to all three of us. No, that's that's stupid. I mean, you, you know, you turn and, you know, you cut bait and run, you know, but maybe he doesn't have the room. He had the perfect opportunity. He went behind an island where no one could hit him, and he didn't take that time to turn. Turn away and get get the hell out. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Timing is everything when you're in a hot spot. I like about playing the turpets is that uh, I know it's not the turpets, the uh, hood is that you know you're you're not with nines and tens, you know uh, sometimes you're with just sevens and sixes and fives. It, it depends. Of... Sometimes I see ten as being better. Sometimes it's not. It yeah. really depends on who's playing at the time you're trying to play the team. Oh, I see. Well, it's always nice to have a, a you know good match make a good match. You know, make her set up. Attention. Reporting your target position. 
And play, playing two tiers below uh, your level is below the highest level is kind of a disadvantage. I mean, you know, you're usually outgunned. Better kind of maybe run with the pack and hope. That's a dead zap. Special going on with uh, I, I didn't make the last meeting. I haven't been to a meeting in a while, actually. There was not a meeting this weekend. Oh, okay. I usually get on late at night. Been running battle my battleships, trying to pull them up. You got a 19 point captain, it takes forever to get started. I've only got one, but I moved him out of his, out of his ship he was in just because he wasn't uh, doing anything. I don't know if that was smart, but I just waited forever to get the first car. So I, I moved into another ship, and he brought he brought some strength. That the other captain was, you know. Man, I'm in a Durham Belgium, but nothing is surviving long enough to get in my secondary rank. You what? So I'm in a German tier 10 battleship, and nothing is surviving to get in gun range of me. Not gun range, but secondary rank. Uh, here's your, here's... I'll take a shot. Just disappeared. I don't know. Oh, somebody. Oh, our 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 destroyer laid smoke in front of him. He got one hit. Oh, this guy, the destroyer. Yep, you got him with a widespread. Good. This may be stupid, it may not. Charging up the middle with a core first in two oh. Behind the mosque. That's gutsy. Sometimes that's pretty good, though. It depends, because all the DDs on the enemy team have died. Uh, I gotta look at the map and, uh,.
back and forth all over the Yeah. Citadel, but he's coming. Coming for the ram. Well, I outweigh him, so he sunk. Try though. I had more health. Hundred and eighty two thousand damage for my first match in the core fierce. Nice. 